Uh, we have a three-story apartment building, has 12 apartments in it. When the companies arrived, they had heavy smoke showing, and they assisted or self-evacuated about 12 people, including the handicapped person. Uh, the second alarm was struck within minutes of the arriving companies, and you see what you got. The fire's under control, locked down, and they're just chasing hot squads and fires and that kind of stuff right now. And they'll be here for more. And the flames, they brought the roof down, correct? Oh, the roof down. Obviously, a big issue today. Was it, did that play a part in how you felt this fire? You know, winds don't 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 really play something. You don't have any exposures that close, so uh, winds. I would say no. You know, once once the roof is open, burning, you saw that. You know, winds gonna feed the fire. It's just like any uh, fire. But as far as interior fire fighting, it doesn't make a difference. You were able to contain the fire to just this one building. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, it's there's no, no surrounding buildings that are that close. All inside. There was a lot of chasing, a lot of heavy fire in different areas of the building. It was just fascinating. You're lucky you were able to get everyone out on time? Actually, I would say yes because the report from the first incoming companies were reporting heavy smoke, and that's usually saying, you know, it's, it's already ahead of us, and now we have to chase it. But first, we have to get the people out, and, and uh, not knowing how many people are in there, that always slows down the fire attack. But again, everything was successful. Uh, I know of one cat that was taken out. Um, I don't know where the cat was brought to. And uh, there's an opportunity to build a firefighter. I gave a couple of parakeets too. They, they seemed okay, so they're up the street in his house. Was the street, so. Anything, anything salvageable inside? Uh, I'm gonna say no, but I don't know for sure. But it was heavy damage. The building itself, um, it's a structurally sound building in the looks of it. And whatever. Uh, but there wasn't heavy fire in, so that'll be up to the engineering. Okay, and I have to ask, you know, do you know where it started, how it started, anything like that? They're zeroing in on that now, they think, but it's on investigation and we can have to make a comment on that. Okay, the bottom of the building or top of the building, was it from we one end to the other? We'll never make a comment on that. Nice try, though. <laughs> Thank you so much.